In small towns across Montana, schools like this one here in Harrison are often the heart of the community. But a parent here says that the school and community are trying to heal after the recent arrest for obstructing justice involving superintendent and principal Cheryl Allen into an investigation of sexual misconduct involving an unlicensed teacher. Our schools really community minded. It has to be. It's the heart of our community. Heather O's is the mother of two students at the school that has about 100 students enrolled in kindergarten through 12th grade. She says her daughters love the experience of the small school, but she noticed a change in her kids and others after a new teacher was hired in January. And it was at that point with the inception of him coming into our classrooms that we as parents began to notice some changes in the school. Heather says children began telling their parents about interactions with the teacher that sounded troubling. A teacher was hired at Harrison to teach, who is a convicted felon, does not have a teaching certificate, nor does he have a provisional license that he was working towards, and it created havoc. The teacher was fired in April, but the trouble continued. Heather says the teacher called her daughter and another student making vile threats. And I believe that was the triggering factor that got the Department of Criminal Investigation to the front doors of our school to begin interviewing students, not because they did anything wrong. According to a social media post made by the Madison County Sheriff's Office, the students were considered victims of a crime. Charging documents state that Cheryl Allen prevented agents from interviewing students and was arrested for obstruction of justice. As a parent, the reason that's so troubling is these kids need to be seen and heard. In a press release issued by Cheryl Allen's campaign for state superintendent of public instruction, she is depicted as a champion of parental rights. But Heather O's doesn't buy it. I think about Miss Allen's campaign where she talks about her motto is she's battling for the minds and hearts of children. And I simply think that's so misaligned. I think that's for parents and a community and a church to battle for. And as an educator and an administrator, I would encourage her to battle for quality education and for protection. And lastly, some accountability. A meeting is being held on May 28th to appoint a third school board trustee. In Harrison, Megan Thompson, MTN News.